hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is ali today i will show you how you can calculate spis at least standardized precipitation index which is used to assess vegetation drought so in this tutorial first of all i define my area of interest you can see that is meghalaya district and india actually this place is known for the highest rainfall which is actually mason drought it, it lies over here so after that i selected the precipitation range from 2017 to 2023 so actually this area contains both the highly rain areas like chirapunji and mesendra and after that the important thing is the function that i will apply later i just explained here you can further read about this you can pause video and read about this but here i will just little bit explain you that i explained each and every line that what image reducer function is doing here and what it means and then i uh, explained what is ee dot reducer mean and why i am using this so here i explain it all then you can see i applied the function to calculate standardized precipitation uh, index so there you can see that i defined first of all calculate spi then variable gamma uh, actually these are the uh, visibility parameter that i earlier explained that i will use gamma probability function to display or to get the layer of map for this spi but there are many approaches for example you can also make or define classes for your spi or where you can uh, apply a threshold or you can define that this class lies in this category or you can set particular names high moderate or whatever you want dry very dry so it's up to you you can you can uh, handle this code or you can shape this code any kind of shape you want to so it's up to you you can modify this code i will paste this code in the description of this video so you can freely use this code or whatever if you want to add classes you can simply add classes and you can modify it further so in this tutorial i'm not going to class define the classes by assigning any threshold value so i'm just uh, giving you as a general overview but if you want you can simply do that but in this case i will use just probability gamma probability and i will spread the colors of spi and i will show you the classes very dry dry and whatever so here you can see after that i applied variable shape which is uh, actually various which actually shows that how the suppression or how the spread is like uh, how much it spreaded or how much it, it is influenced so you can see that and you can check after that after calculating standardized precipitation index then i applied visibility parameters which which is up to you you can set any of your choice for example red orange green whatever and the last thing is the legend so here i got the maximum and minimum value but it's up to you for example if you want to make classes so you can just define classes by utilizing this maximum and minimum function and you can set the value range for your classes so it's up to you how you play with the okay. data i'm just giving you this tutorial for an example mm -hmm. the accuracy is not like it's not 100% accurate so you have to play or you have to modify this code i'm just giving you an overview and i will paste this code in the description so for example i i'm going to run it on different study areas and here you can see when i applied stretch it given me the accurate value minus 2 to 4 standard precipitation index and then you can adjust or you can classify it for example here i defined in legend you can see five classes so you can make five uh, classes by threshold or where you can set greater than or lesser than or whatever you want so now i'm going to run it on different areas to show you that how it shows us the standard precipitation index and you can idealize that how it shows the values and is it accurate or not i will perform it on different studies areas for example in this case it's studying over tamil nadu region india now if if i will go to the layer and i will click on the 
for example this is the range i'm going to click on stretch 98 percent when i'll apply it will give me the accurate range you can see that it gives me the range you can also set the stretch 100 percent just simply apply it will give you the result now i'm going to speed up the video to save your time and i will paste this code in the description you can use and share it with your community with your friends and one thing more you can just utilize this code or you can further modify this code free up to you and this code is free so you can use anywhere wherever you want so hope you like the tutorial i'm just going to speed up this video and enjoy it To save your time, I speeded up video and I will run it on different areas and you can sense that how it's showing us the values for different areas. Enjoy it. Thank you. Bye. Take care.